Thank you. Okay. Hi, you guys. Thank you for being here. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank Thanks, you. Kathy. Kevin. Thank you. Thank you. So, Devin, I'm going to start it off with you because I saw your right. tweet when you announced, and it was so cute because you had Sonic. I think, I believe it was Sonic sitting in the chair, and then um, you made the announcement. Oh, this guy so right me, here. Yes, that's it. <laughs> so, tell me, how do you feel about joining the cast? And I know, um, are, are, are all of you um, in the studio together, or are you uh, doing this from home in your closet somewhere? Uh, I I am doing this from home in my closet somewhere. Uh, <laughs> although um, the the other actors are um, I believe most if not all of them are recording in studio. Uh, they're they're on the west coast. I'm on the east coast. Uh, but again, thanks to the magic of the internet and uh, the and amazing engineers that we have working in post production, they're able to make it seem like we are all recording in the same space together. That's amazing. Logan, are you um, also in your home? Do you have a home office where you're you're recording everything? Yeah, so I'm on the production side uh, and I work at Wild Brain Studios. But yeah, this show started during COVID. And, you know, as a studio, we sent 700 computers to people's homes uh, so that we could keep keep working. And uh, it's been just a crazy, crazy ride. I mean, it's been a testament to, uh, you know, the commitment to this project in particular. And and all the work we're doing at Wild Brain, um, that we we're able to, you know, navigate that and support this story, which honestly, we brought a lot of innovative technology and approach to the, the filmmaking and the animation process. Um, so it's, yeah, it's been a wild journey, but, uh, you know, we're so excited to be at this point where it's coming out on December 15th, or we're just so thrilled for it to finally be, you know, hitting the world and, and uh, yeah, glad to be here. I gotta say that's quite impressive. Sending out seven hundred computers—that is yeah, remarkable, that. right? Yeah. Oh yeah, my god! Great, great, I know yeah. if I was part of the team, I'd be ecstatic. I'd be like, "Yes, we're working for Mo. This is great." Yeah. Oh my god, you yeah. guys are awesome. So tell me, how did this um, come about? Saying, "Okay, we want to do this on Netflix," because Sonic is a staple in our house. My little one loves Sonic. I, I. I if I literally walked you over there, you would see a big plush, a little plush. He's got the whole bedding. I mean, Sonic is it in our home. So tell me how um, how the Netflix conversation came up and how did you guys choose the cast? Could you? Yeah, absolutely. So we, you know, uh, Wild Brain partnered with Sega and, and, yes. and brought in Man of Action to work with us on the development and the concept. And, and once we had something that we were pretty happy with, um, we, we did a bunch, you know, we did a bunch of character design and we created a little teaser and we showed that to Netflix and they were immediately on board. They're like, yes, this is a version of Sonic we need to see. Uh, so they were invested right away and we were able to get a, you know, a, a partnership together for, for an amazing series. And, 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 you know, we, to be collaborating with both Sega and Netflix that, you know, they have such vast experience and creative chops and, Sega really helps us, you know, keep the the legacy aspects authentic and in check. They've also been amazing creative partners in, in allowing us to really push the boundaries and take the characters to new places and explore different situations. And uh, so, yeah, it's been an amazing journey and, and a great collaboration with with everybody. We're so excited about it. Devin, so tell me, um, how did you hear about the role and tell me what you thought when you said, OK, I'm going to, you know, go after this and then where were you when you got the call that said you know what you're it <laughs> that's what I was I love to hear that um well I was uh I just well first I got the audition email through my agent in my inbox I was like whoa uh what okay uh and and from me having uh, a, a lot of uh, experience just uh, watching the the character on on shows playing the games. I I already knew okay this this is what he needs to be. Uh, so I was able to just dive right in as as far as that goes. Uh, as far as when I got the phone call where they're like it's it's it yeah it's gonna be you yeah. kid. I'm like I what is this? No, this isn't real life. It still doesn't feel quite like real life. Uh, but it's 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 been a really surreal thing for for sure and 
And uh, again, just a huge honor to get to be a part of this rich legacy that this character has. Right, it's phenomenal. You're you're stepping into amazing shoes. I mean, just everything that Sonic is and it stands for, and just the character. It's so beloved, right? Oh yeah. The whole show, uh, the entire. It's it's just wonderful. And as a mom, I love Sonic. So whenever my little one says we're watching Sonic, I'm like, okay. Because I know, A, it's safe. I know he's going to learn from it. And I know that we're all going to be laughing. So Very it's true. it's wholesome, right? It's totally wholesome. So tell me, what similarities do you have to your character, if any? Um, well, I would say Tails is the character that I relate to the most personally because he's more shy and, and, and studious yeah. and he likes to think things through. Uh, I very much connect with Sonic's uh, element of always trying to be positive and always trying to be there for his friends and, and being the best role model that he can possibly be. And uh, that's why I really, really like this story that explores kind of his uh, need to try to be more empathetic and not take the people around him for granted, even though he really cares for them. Sometimes he's thinking like, oh, I can do everything myself. I got to do everything myself. And uh, to sort of see how he's affected by uh, the mistakes that he made and, and how he's trying to take responsibility for them. Uh, to see how Tails has had to grow in this Shatterverse without a Sonic there to, to guide him and to help lift him up. Uh, I've loved getting to explore and learn about those things. And the emotion that Sonic feels in reaction to that is very, very genuine from me. I saw this version of Tails in the script and said, oh my gosh, what happened? We got to fix this. And then Sonic himself says, oh my gosh, what happened? We got to fix this. So it's it's very genuine for me. I've really enjoyed going on that ride with him. That's amazing. Tell me, um, at Sonic Time, if it had a mission statement, what would the mission statement be? Uh, that's a good question. I mean, Sonic is kind of responsible for the situation that that he gets himself in. So mm -hmm. there's a there's a redemption story here, and it requires self uh, growth. Sonic really really takes a good long look in the mirror, and while he is that lovable hero with the heart of gold, he's always going to be there for his friends. This is about him accepting responsibility for his actions and truly understanding what it takes to become a great leader, which is valuing what your team brings to the table. And that's what he really learns in the end. So it's adding in these layers of empathy and compassion and, and, and leadership and responsibility that, that Sonic learns as he goes through his journey. So he, be, he is this beacon of hope and we see him experience that self uh, growth along the way. So the takeaway, the mission statement is that, you know, we're, we're, there are these bright lights, these, these beacons of hope out there. And, and when you stick to it and, and you know, you, you allow yourself to grow, you give yourself that capacity, uh, great things can happen. I love it. So I'll ask one more question because I know um, our time is running out. So Sana comes out at the end of the month, I believe on the 21st? December 15th. December 15th. December 15th. It's sooner than I thought. And how many episodes will be dropping? Eight. Oh my goodness. I'm so again, excited. And again, eight on December 15th. And the, the pilot is actually going to be virtually debuting inside of Roblox on Saturday, December 10th. Oh my God. We're going to be part of that. But we have, we created a Roblox account just for hey. this. Yes. Yes. There we're you so go. excited Here. to be part of it. Right so on, right excited. On. Guess, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. I, I hope for it. A season two, three, four, ten, because we love Sonic. So you guys, you're awesome. Thank you for it's your open. time. Thank you. Thank you.